Muffson from the Nerd Blast. I'm here at Play NYC. We're here basically to check out all the different games from all these different developers, talk about their work and uh, you know where we can find all these different games. Because if you if you look right now, like just basically overhead, there's like a ton of content that these guys are making, and it's just pretty amazing. Uh, so check out what we got in store for you guys. I'm here with Bill, the creator and mind behind Perception. Um, I just want to ask you, how'd you come up with the concept for this game? Sure. So, you know, I've, I've worked on first-person games for the better part of uh, two decades now. I worked on Bioshock and SWAT 4, and, you know, they all had this common theme of, like, I'm playing as the same person, right? Like, it's, they're different characters, but they're all 6'3", and, you know, uh, perfect vision and perfect everything, you know. And so the idea of, uh, I love horror, but the idea of playing a, a thriller where you're, you maybe you can't see, a blind person, right? And so I started to research uh, echolocation, human echolocation, which is a real thing. And I really fell in love with the idea and I thought it, was, it would be a, a great uh, concept. And so we started to explore it more and more. And before you knew it, uh, we were like really uh, deep into this concept of walking around a, a haunted mansion and using echolocation, tapping your cane to create visuals and that risk reward of if you create too much noise, there's something in the house that's gonna come find you. And right now it's all on, on, on all the consoles, right? Yeah, absolutely. So we're on Switch, PS4, Xbox One, and also PC. And what else are you working on? I know you have um, something called the Dark Web. Yeah, you so... Want to talk a bit about that? So absolutely. So. You know, the idea of episodic horror really appealed to me. And basically I started to, to compile this list of, of ideas and we created this idea of the dark web. You're playing as a user on this dark web forum where they're sharing all these theories and conspiracies and, and horror stories and they're teasing them bit by bit. And then what, what happens in the game is you play as this user on the dark web forum and people will be voting about which episode comes next. And basically every single episode will be a completely unique horror experience that is self-contained. Thematically they tie together, but we're gonna be taking on some big, like really outside the box, risky horror concepts. And so that idea to me is kind of a dream come true because I can get a lot of these ideas that I've had, you know, stewing for a long time, get them out there and, um, you know, continue to update this one game. So it's exciting. So when can people expect uh, Dark Web to come out? Like. Uh... Are you still along the development process for this? We are. We're uh, moving right along. I don't have an exact date, but it's definitely within a year. It's probably going to be between six and nine months, but uh, we are being very careful to say exactly when because I want to make sure we have enough episodes to, to release one after the other, but then also they have to be they have to be great, right? And what about the platforms? Are we going to expect it the same as Perception, or so, is it just going to be... I'd love to hit everything. Uh, our goal is to start on uh, PC, and then basically we may package them together in bigger anthologies and that kind of... I haven't figured that part out. Right now it's, it's primarily PC. We're focusing on. Nice. I'm here with Nikki with uh, The Looking Glass. Uh, so Nikki, uh, I just want to ask you, uh, how do you guys come up with the concept? Uh, sure. So we're Looking Glass Factory, and the product you see here is called the Looking Glass. Um, you know, we're a team of 20 based out of Brooklyn, Hong Kong, and we've been working on 3D and holographic displays for about four years now. This is like the fifth iteration of some of the things we've been doing. Um, and yeah, the, the whole idea is we want to make displays that were meant so that you could experience 3D with no headgear. And uh, how did you guys come up with uh, like this whole the concept game. of the, the game? And, sure. Yeah. The, the game and the console and the whole game engine behind it was added by the amazing Joseph White, who was also the creator of Pico 8. Um, he made Voxatron 14 years ago. Um, and when he made it, he really was hoping that one day uh, a display would exist to complement his game. And so, you know. He's been focusing more on Pico 8 for the last like 12 years, but I think uh, with this display, he's really excited about getting more and more content in, helping to build out the engine, and you know, hopefully getting more people creating games in it, so getting more carts in it. So how can people find out more about uh, The Looking Glass, and you know, where they sure, can find yeah. out more about the, you know, how to get the it? The product? So yeah, we're running a Kickstarter right now. Um, so you can go to look.glass. Uh, slash play NYC. I'm here with Alex, the founder and creator of Space Felix. 
Uh, so tell me, how did you come up with the whole concept of this game? So um, I, uh, I took a Unity course with Play NYC, a uh, VR course. The main concept was shooting guided rockets at space. So you can control them with your gaze. And then um, after that, like, I showed it at uh, my first game expo. I got a very good uh, responses from it. So um, I felt I should keep developing it. And, you know, this, is, this is where it's gotten so far. And how far along has the development been going? So it's uh, about a year that I've been working on it, but like half a year of actual work, and um, I'm hoping to release it at the end of fall. Nice. Yeah. Is it like a certain timeline? Um, Are they gonna start releasing? I keep it further and further. I'm hoping that I'm actually gonna release it at the end of fall. Um, but um, first, I'm gonna release it for Oculus Go, then uh, and uh, Gear VR, and then I'm gonna try to put it on like any. All the VR headsets I could possibly put it on. And there you have it. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Hope you enjoyed the Play NYC content that we had in store for you guys. Uh, definitely don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, check out our YouTube page and subscribe. And also check out our Twitch channel as well. So thank you so much for tuning in with us. And uh, keep sturdy, stay nerdy.